When I was growing up, I guess I was exposed to like math and like, computer programming a lot. The first thing I did is basically program games. Then I'd play it until I got bored, then I'd program another one, and then played that until I got bored and so forth. For me, computers have always been a critical tool for designing, creating, and manifesting ideas. My interest in decentralized technology began when I was introduced to Bitcoin in 2010, and later, blockchain-based platforms for smart contracts like Ethereum. At the time in 2013, people started realizing that you could use blockchain technology for a lot more applications than just the currency. And I spent a lot of time going around the world looking at the different projects that already existed. And eventually, I basically realized that the approach that they were taking, which was to make a new blockchain for every single application, was not enough. The idea behind like decentralized applications is that you can have this uh, different paradigm where instead of you know you talking to an application and basically you would be able to talk to people directly any information that's just between the two of you would stay just between the two of you and you could use a combination of blockchains and other kinds of decentralized technologies to build applications that like kind of more generally work in this way when people are able to gain more control over their own data i believe that their quality of life would naturally improve with greater feelings of confidence, security, and personal power. Designers and developers worldwide can use Ethereum to create decentralized applications that can ultimately contribute to a freer and more accessible internet. I would say that the goals and mission of the foundation is to continue to support research and development of Ethereum for both our platform and that of the decentralized web.